and welcome to our caravan toilet! Yes! I love caravan toilets and I love making videos about how we empty and clean the cassette because it's one of the things which makes living in a caravan or a van possible. I wouldn't live in a caravan full time if we didn't have a caravan toilet. So today I'm going to share my top hacks on looking after your caravan toilet and I will show you how I empty it, how I clean it and sanitize it to make sure it's hygienic, it's safe and it serves us many, many years. So a lot of useful advice in this video, you can expect that. And well, without further ado, give this video a like and I dare say, let's dive in! <laughs> if you are new to the topic, very quickly you will realize why keeping this toilet clean and cleaning the cassette is super important. Look, it may look like a house toilet, but it's not. Everything is made of plastic. And if you want to use the toilet, you have to open this valve and this little hole leads to a plastic container underneath called the cassette. So to keep it all clean, fresh and smelling lovely, it's really important to stay on top of cleaning. So I recommend wiping the outside, wiping all plastic every day and don't use bleach because that will uh, make this all white plastic go yellow. So another story is looking after the cassette which is underneath and bear in mind that whatever you do on this toilet ends up in a plastic container down there. You have a flush, here we have an electric flush, so you just press a button, but in our van we had a manual flush. Have you got one of those maybe? So we just had to turn and twist the, the knob to flush the toilet. So you can probably see why this could be tricky to maintain and why it's so crucial to maintain and use the right products to look after yourself and your toilet. Welcome back if you are a regular viewer, perhaps a subscriber. And if you are new here, my name is Kat and for the last five years I've been living on wheels in a motorhome and in a caravan and I've been working on a caravan inside in the UK. And on my channel I just share realities of my lifestyle, the ups and downs, the beauties and the challenges. And for many of you, emptying a caravan cassette toilet may be a challenge, but trust me, it doesn't have to be. And my first hack and my first tip to make sure that emptying the cassette is easy is please do not dispose your number twos. Do not poop in your caravan. In other words, do not poop in your caravan. We only do number ones in a caravan. We run to the campsite toilet for number twos <laughs> and um, it makes our life so much easier. And I know that some people do everything in their caravan uh, toilets but we choose not to because we live in a caravan and we've tried once and it didn't work very well emptying and cleaning the cassette after pooping it was a nightmare so share your experiences let me know if you are brave enough to do it or if you stick to number ones just like us Always check with the site which products you can use and you shouldn't use. If they have a septic tank, make sure you use a septic tank friendly products like this one, organic toilet fluid and rinse from ProClean. It's really good. We switched to it recently because it's better for the environment, better for septic tanks and probably better for your toilet cassette. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on because now we are going to go out and deal with the cassette. Hello and welcome outside. It's super cold today, but it doesn't mean you stop emptying your cassette only because it's cold. If you want to use it, you have to empty it and you have to clean it. So here is the cassette. It looks all the same really in most of caravans and in uh, motorhomes and sometimes on boats, people have them as well. So this one has a capacity of about 17 or 19 liters, depending on your model. And it lasts about two or three days for two adults, probably with children, it, it's a different story. So we will empty this in a minute, but before we go to the chemical toilet point, I will show you why this product is wonderful and why we buy one instead of two. We switched to this product because it's septic tank friendly, which is brilliant. And I will explain later why it's important to use septic 
friendly chemicals if you are on a site with a septic tank. So this product is really good because you can use it both in your cassette to prime it, to minimize the smells and to make sure the waste breaks down. And you can pour it in your flash tank, in your top tank. So it's super easy. Just pour a bit of product here, top it up with clean water and then you can flush your toilet. Welcome to our chemical waste point. And in a minute you will understand why I recommend only number ones in your toilet cassette. And we've got a notice here reminding our customers to use only septic tank friendly products. And it's super important. And in a minute uh, I will explain why this is a good point and a good place to explain why it's important to look after sites septic tanks and not break the site rules. Right, here we go. Are you ready? So the first thing which you need to do is to twist this pipe and then take the top off, unscrew the top, find your button here and press it down. So it will help with the air pressure and will make emptying a bit easier. And there you are, then you just pour it in to the septic tank in this case. So my cassette wasn't full full. I don't like to have it full full because it's super heavy to carry. So this is my tip. Don't let it fill to the brim because it will be a bit awkward to manage. Then give it a, a quick rinse. It's not the end. It's not the end of the process yet because to make sure that this plastic container says you use and the replacement is worth about 130 pounds, so it's worth looking after your cassette. Now we have to clean it and sanitize it and freshen it up and prime it for the next few days of happy weeing, happy pissing. So now, now the cassette is empty, we can, we can clean it. So what I like to do is to pour a bit of product and top it up with clean water and leave it for at least five minutes. If you want to know how much is a bit of this product, it's 30 mils per 10 liters of your tank capacity, which in our case is 60 mils because we've got about 20 liters uh, cassette. So, Ladies and gents, we invested in this lovely, organic, freshly smelling product because we want to look after the side septic tank. So always check with the side because even on the same side, you may have different disposal points. We have three on our campsite and two of them are connected to the septic tank and one is not. And those connected, those leading to the septic tank, they require a use of different products. Septic tanks rely on a delicate balance of bacteria to make sure that waste is broken down naturally. And if you use bleach in excess, if you use products which are not septic tank friendly, the waste will not be broken down and the sites will have to empty the tanks more frequently, which means money, investment and additional cost to the site. And guess who will be dealing with the pressure of emptying the tanks more frequently? You, the customers. The financial pressure will be filtered down to the customers who will have to pay higher fees for your pitches to cover the tanks to cover, you know, the maintenance of septic tanks. So it is definitely worth it to check with the site and obey the rules and use the right products in the right places. Okay, I think this one is ready to empty again. Oh, it's much heavier now because it's full full, but it smells lovely. All right, we will empty it again. Ah. Give it a little shake. And then it's not the end yet. The final stage is priming. Okay. Always rinse after use, please, please, please. 
in the name of all campers and campsite staff. It takes a few seconds to prepare it for the next user. Unfortunately, many people forget about rinsing the chemical toilet point after use. Please be kind. To prime your cassette, to prepare it for, for the use, you pour about 60 milliliters of your liquid, of this liquid, uh, of your lovely toilet uh, fluid and rinse. It smells lovely, it's green and it has this lovely piney smell. And then pour a little bit of water, maybe a liter, and that will give you a good start to happy use of your caravan toilet. We are back at the caravan, ready to put it back on, assemble it all together. And there is something really, really satisfying in having your cassette service, in having, having it emptied, cleaned and ready for the future use. You feel on top of the world when, once the cassette is done and you've got the peace of mind and you've got uh, the joy of using your toilet for a few more days to come. So ladies and gents, that's it from me for today. Please subscribe to the channel if you find this video interesting, if you would like to know more about what it's like to live in a caravan full time, also in winter. And uh, sometimes I wonder why we make those videos. And of course we make them to share our adventure, to document it for ourselves, because it's been the adventure of our life. Living in a caravan has been absolutely amazing and having a campsite job has been, that's been one of our best decisions we've ever made. So if you feel that you may be inclined towards this lifestyle, watch my other videos to find out because I talked in detail about the ups and downs, the challenges and this beauty of uh, living and working on a caravan inside. So please make sure you check out my other videos and I will see you in the next video on Wednesday. We publish a new video every Wednesday and we have a live stream with our lovely viewers, followers and friends every Sunday evening at 7 p.m. the UK time. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.